This is the Common Man's Reference Bible in hardback. This is a very good Bible for the price. It was only $20, I think $24 altogether for everything is what I spent. It's by David Hoffman. It's a really good Bible for the price. It has like 60,000 references. Tons of good notes. Pretty good margin space at the bottom. And then in the back, it's got something that the other one I have doesn't have. It's got the seven steps to learn the scriptures in the back. And this is really helpful if you're just starting out about how to learn the, uh, learn the Bible. See, seven sheer steps to learn the scriptures. And it's also got the colored, really nice colored maps in the back. I think there's like 12 or 13 of them. So it's not too big, it's pretty thick, but it's nice. Then here's the lamb skin. Hoffman. 1611 Authorized King James Bible. This is probably the, my favorite Bible I've ever owned. It's got tons of... The wide margins are awesome in this Bible. Tons of space to write. And You could just keep writing in this Bible. I listened to several commentaries and read several commentaries and I just still never run out of spaces to take notes. And then the back of this, of course, it's got the maps. And this has a place for notes in the back, which is awesome. Just a really nice Bible. This is the third edition. It's got where you can write births and marriages in the front. It's got several pages of that. Something else awesome about this is it's got the common sayings that we use every day are written in the center column. So when you read the verse, you can look and see the common sayings. And if you learn those common sayings, it, it helps as a good witnessing tool. So it's probably got, yeah, see here? There's pretty much one on every page at least. But, uh... If you are looking for a new Bible, I would definitely suggest getting this. In my opinion, it's the best reference Bible. I've got Ruckman Reference Bible, I've got a Schofield, I've got a local church Bible publishers, I've got several of theirs. I mean, I know it's not a reference Bible, but uh, in my opinion, this is the best Bible you could buy. So, 